Hello everybody. So today I will show you how can we use ISO height method on RGIS and how to calculate area between two ISO heights. This is the another method used for computing the average rainfall depth and ISO height is a line joining the points of equal rainfall depth. So let's start just by uploading the shape file of catchment area and rain gauges having rainfall depth in millimeters or inches. First you need to connection to the folder where your shape files are present. I already have connected it. Just upload it by selecting the shape files. After that, we need to perform raster interpolation by SP Line tool. You can find this tool in the R toolbox. Just double click on it. Set the input features as catchment data. Set the Z field as rainfall depth. Set this SP Line type as tension. Now go to the environments. Set the processing extent as shape, catchment shape file and then press OK. This may take a couple of minutes, just a wait a little bit. Now we need to perform contouring on this data. Just find the contouring tool under the raster surface. Just double click on it. Set the input raster. Set the contour interval. Whatever you want. For instance, let's say 7. Just press OK. Now go to the processing, click on clip, set the input features, set the clip features, then press OK. You can hollow it. Thereafter we need to extract it by mask. You can find this tool under special analysis tool, just double click on it. Set the input roster, set the mask data, then press OK. Now we have to reclassify it according to the contours as we have 5 contour lines and 6 classes just go to the reclassify and double click on it. Set the input raster, go to the classify, set the classes as 6 as we have total 6 classes, set the classification method as manual. Now our contour interval is 7. But we have not rain gauge having the rainfall depth less than 7 inches or millimeter. As you can see, our first class starting from 12.31 and it so its mean our first contour is 14, which is the multiple of 7. So let's start by breaking the values starting from 14. Here after 21, keeping the same interval, then 28. 45 42 and last one remains the same as it does not completing the interval then press ok there we go After that, finding the area between the contours, we need to convert it into polygons. Just go to the conversion tools, 
from raster to polygon. Double click on it, set the input raster, then press OK. Now you can find the area between the contours by clicking on attribute table. As you can see we have a shape area in meters, square meters. Just add the field if you want this area in square kilometer. Set the name as shape underscore area underscore kilometer. Set the type as double then press OK. Right click on this, calculate geometry, press OK. Set the unit cell square kilometer, then press OK. Here we go. Now if you want to label the features, just go to the properties. Go to symbology, add categories. Set the value field as shape area as kilometer, add all values, then press OK. Here we go. So, by labeling the features, go to the labels, set the label field as shape area in kilometer, set the font size, font type as area. If you want to label the rain gauges, just go to the properties of catchment data. Under the label section, set the label field as rainfall depth. Set the font type as If you want to export it, go to the menu tab under the file section. Here you find the export map. Click on it. Set the file name as ISO fighter. And save it. There you go, go ahead and fun everybody, thanks for watching.